Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Liquid here and it has been a while. I've been on vacation, so I apologize for being away. I am excited to get back into doing regular updates. For example, last month in March, my options went up by 6,500 because I had some extra time to do deeper analysis into the daily charts. So over the next few weeks, I'll be going over some new strategies I'm testing out and so far they seem to be working, but I'll continue to track them and update my progress. But for today, let's go over what the market has done and what it's likely going to do since the S&P 500 has made somewhat of a correction. Now, during the time I was on vacation, there wasn't much news in terms of market price action. The S&P 500 continued to go up in this trend. I think in February, I mentioned as long as the market doesn't break this upward trend, then the momentum will likely continue because the general rule is you have to assume that the price will continue to go in the current trend that it's in until it doesn't. So we had a break of the trend here a couple of weeks ago, and then we needed confirmation of that, which was this red candle. And then finally, we had follow through last Friday because this candle here went below all of the previous candles over the last week. So this just means that the market is in a little bit of a pullback. And so far, it's been about a 4% retracement from the top, 4.2, which is pretty typical. You normally would get a pullback like this about six times a year, and you would get a 5% pullback or larger about three times a year. And this is the first time we've seen a drawback all year. Now, if I turn on the exponential moving averages, we can see that the green 9 EMA has crossed below the blue line the 21. So for the first time this year, the momentum is towards the downside. However, just like a channel that goes up, there is also a channel for when the market goes down. And that's going to look something like this because we have some touches on the top and then some touches on the bottom. So where's the market likely headed? Well, medium term, probably still down because we had two very big red candles, which signals a lot of selling on these days, but we don't see any counter trend rallies with big green candles. Now, that being said, if we look at the channel, we are at the bottom of it right now. So we could see like a relief rally followed by further selling. Now, if I switch over to the weekly chart, the 21 weekly moving average, this blue line here, if the market continues to fall, I would expect the next target to be just below 500 here for the SPY at about 495. But since the market doesn't move in a straight line, I would expect a green bar sometime in the next couple of weeks. So that's it for now. I will give another update in the next few days. Good luck with your investments and until next time.